I think as people, we all like to think that we are very um, rational in our decision making, but studies time and time again show that we're actually highly emotional. In fact, a brain imaging study shows that when you present someone with a problem or an issue to solve, they're gonna, uh, the, the emotional center of the brain, the amygdala, is activated regardless of who you are. Yeah. Um, so we, we are not as objective or as rational as we'd like to think. And so that's why framing is important. And framing is simply not what you're saying, but how you're saying it. So I gave the example of a flu shot. If you have a positive frame, that could be get your flu shot and then you'll end up healthy over the holidays. People don't pay attention to that as much. No. They pay far more attention to negative framing. So if you say, get your flu shot so you don't end up sniffling or lying in bed and missing out on all the fun people are more likely to pay attention. But what's interesting is that studies show there's also a difference between men and women and mm. how they respond to framing. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So women are far more responsive to negative framing. <laughs> and it could, it could be the, the concern for loss. If we don't, we're kind of uh, you know, sure. loss averse, we want to minimize that sense of loss. And so we, that framing it in a negative way to a woman when you're trying to get her to make a decision yeah. is going to be more likely to propel her it's to very action. Interesting. <laughs> it's like a natural worry. Uh,